absolutely collegial uh, based upon the, the absolute equality of every single baptized member. So if you read all the documents since, it's all about collaboration. But that's a trick, so to speak. Or to an intelligent layperson, it's offensive. You can't have uh, a congregation that isn't ruled by consensus, prayer, fasting, to get their minds clear, not to petition God, get their minds clear. Even the Stoics knew that so they could vote as spiritual people for the good of the church, and more importantly, the good of the church that would bring about the kingdom of God on earth, the, the, the uh, common uh, needs, the common well, the common wheel of all the non-believers. That's the original purpose of the church, is to change the world, make it upside down, especially by the distribution of wealth which is the main source, the main purpose of any government, including the American Republican democracy. You never know it uh, by what's happening today. The rich are getting richer, the poor are getting poorer, the middle class are being sacked, and we're soon we'll be like a South American dictatorial uh, monarchical society. So the distribution of wealth is one of the main facets, purposes, and missions of the church because you can't have justice, never mind charity, and you can't have a truly egalitarian society unless you redistribute the wealth out of justice. But you have to do it freely. So the communists try to do it by dictatorial methods worse than South American Catholic dictators, uh, including Perón, don't cry for me, Argentina uh, motif. And, uh, and so we've lost the, the structure of the church. And what intelligent Catholic lawyers, doctors, teachers, uh, suburban housewives, uh, black and Latinos who know what's going on, even though they don't have the privileges of, of the white society yet, uh, you know, why would they bother wasting their time being on a parish council <coughs> or, or, or anybody if it's only advisory or consultative, which is against their, uh, where they are in life, what they know to be true in the secular culture, and it's supposed to be twice as true in the church, where uh, we don't have voting, we don't vote in and out the doctrines of the church or the teachings better. You're not supposed to have dogmas, you're supposed to have teachings. The teachings of Jesus reinterpreted by the church for the 21st century or whatever century you happen to be born into.